My name is Josh Cady. I'm uh, 32 years old, an avid outdoorsman. I enjoy shooting pool a lot. I uh, work at Mercury Marine, enjoy boating, going fast. Uh, and this is my faith story. I grew up probably like many of you, many people you'd probably know. <clears throat> I was raised Lutheran, I was baptized Lutheran. Uh, at an early age, I enjoyed church. It was something I always did. Our family went to church uh, almost every Sunday. I have great role models of faith on both sides of my family and all around. I, I really, really enjoyed it. Um, all the way up through, I was confirmed Lutheran. I went through an ushers and acolytes, everything uh, through, through faith. And um, I had a turning point somewhere around 18. Um, wasn't necessarily that I didn't think God was cool or people were thinking I was lame for having faith. Um, it just didn't become a priority for me. I found myself prioritizing fun and hanging out with my friends and eventually drinking and doing all sorts of, I'll say, sinful activities that I knew were wrong, but I continued to do them. Um, there was, there was several points along the way of when I, again, didn't ever lost faith, but it was never a priority. I, I'd be knowingly doing things wrong, things that didn't make me feel good, looking in the mirror and seeing the person I didn't want to be and feeling shame, but yet it took it took years before I finally, I'll say, gave in. Um, there's several instances I could think of when I had these thoughts of something needs to change, something needs to change, something needs to change. Uh, but one that sticks out immediately of a point in my life was showing up hungover after a night of drinking to my niece's birthday party, my niece who adored me. I just feel like I let her down. I wasn't there. I wasn't giving her 100%. <clears throat> and at that point, I could feel something needed to change, but I still still hadn't done it yet. There was still a void for me. I, over the next couple of years, I continued to experience loss, experience self-doubt, experience shame, sin, um, and I was looking for answers in all the wrong places. There was Easter after my grandmother had gotten diagnosed with Alzheimer's, <clears throat> and this is my grandmother, my mother's side, the strongest face in my family by far, and that Easter, we were at my grandfather's for brunch <clears throat> he always says prayer and he always says prayer he said prayer like he always does always from the heart but it was like this time was different like I could feel his personal relationship with God it was so strong as if he was in the room right next to me screaming at me like this is the what you're supposed to do this is this is what you've been missing. This is the void you've been looking for. And it was, it, it worked. That is easily the turning point. Um, that spring, I started looking for churches, looking for a place to call home, um, some place that called out to me. And I've found that and I feel like my journey has a long way to go yet, but I no longer feel that shame. I feel a very deep sense of relief, pride almost of where I've come from in the last uh, approximately about a year or so. Is really when I've started to reach out <clears throat> for 
my own personal relationship with God, one that I'm not going through the motions with, one that I'm not doing because this is how I've always been taught, but one that I'm doing it because it's my decision. I want to be here and develop this, and I feel like having my very goal oriented as well. So my grandfather's always been somebody I looked up to, and him being that turning point, he's he's my role model in faith, and <clears throat> I just hope to continue that faith as best I know how.